So evaluation of fibrotic lung disease centers around high resolution CT, uh, CT scans. And specifically in the case of IPF, which is the most common fibrotic lung disease and the most deadly fibrotic lung disease, that evaluation is, is, is informed by diagnostic criteria which are given to us by the American Thoracic Society, European Respiratory Society, uh, Japanese Respiratory Society, and the Latin American uh, Thoracic Association. And they specify a number of diagnostic categories. So usual interstitial pneumonia, probable usual interstitial pneumonia, indeterminate cases, and other diagnoses. And when you evaluate CT with respect to these um, criteria, essentially what you're doing is trying to pattern recognize the imaging and place it within one of these diagnostic categories. So the big criticism of HRCT interpretation is that it's highly subjective, particularly uh, in, in the hands of inexperienced uh, radiologists, but also among experts as well, and some of our work has shown that, shown that. So it is entirely possible that you could have one radiologist look at the HRCT and assign a diagnosis, and a, a second radiologist give a slightly different or modified diagnosis. The other issue is, is that the current guidelines for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, it's at least been suggested, require um, radiologic ex expertise which may not be available in all centres. So particularly in community settings or rural settings, they may not have the imaging expertise to confidently evaluate HRCT with respect to diagnostic criteria. The algorithm that we used was an open source piece of soft software, essentially a deep learning neural network. Um, and essentially deep learning is a process which is very good at uh, recognizing structure within high dimensional data. And in this case, that will be imaging and mapping it to simple classifications. So in this case, it would be diagnosis categories. And what we did was we trained uh, a deep neural network to classify HRCT scans based on these uh, international diagnostic criteria. Compared the performance of the algorithm um, against 91 expert thoracic radiologists from international uh, thoracic radiology societies. And what we did was we got the algorithm to evaluate 150 cases of fibrotic lung disease and the 91 radiologists to do the same uh, evaluation. And then we compared the performance of the algorithm to the uh, radiologists. Now, it's one of the tricky things about this is, is that there's no diagnostic reference standard for radiologic evaluation on HRCT. So what we did was we looked at the algorithm's ability to separate cases of usual interstitial pneumonia from cases which are not usual interstitial pneumonia. And because outcome distinctions between these two groups are the it's the key feature of these diagnostic categories, we were able to use prognostic accuracy as a surrogate for diagnostic accuracy. Essentially, the algorithm performed as well as the median performance of the, the 91 thoracic radiologists. So what's really needed in this field, not just with our study, but with other deep learning studies, is to evaluate how they impact clinical care in practice going forward and how they improve on current best practice. So we're talking about clinical utility studies. So what we really need to do is see how this algorithm functions within a, a multidisciplinary setting where imaging expertise is lacking in the setting of fibrotic lung disease and compare that multidisciplinary team performance against an expert group and see whether it brings up their performance to expert levels. So it's really important to emphasize this tool is going to be a diagnostic support tool for centers that lack the imaging expertise to evaluate cases of fibrotic lung disease. It's certainly not something that will replace uh, radiologists or even probably would not be a benefit in expert uh, centers.